After a very long wait, it's finally time to go flat out as the Colin McRae Flat Out DLC has just been released for Dirt Bunny 2.0. And in today's video, I'm checking out both of the brand new cars and the awesome new Scotland location. Should be a really fun one, so let's get started. What's going on guys, my name is Matidio and welcome back to Dirt Rally 2.0 and the final piece of DLC for this amazing game, the Colin McRae Flat Out DLC. We've been waiting for it for a long, long time. It's highly anticipated, but it's finally here. We've finally got our hands on it. And in today's video, obviously, I'm going to be checking it out. We're going to be chucking the uh, the Subaru Legacy and the Subaru Impressor S4 around the new Scotland location. And we're going to take a little looky loo at some of the 40 scenarios uh, that you can try out that take inspiration from Colin McRae's illustrious career. So this should be a really, really fun video. And like I said, it's been a while from me personally if you someone who subscribed to me you'll know that my t300 rs steering wheel died around christmas i haven't done any driving since then so this is going to be a bit of an adventure in that regard but also i'm not sure if i'm going to get any sort of fe uh, force feedback from this wheel at all so yeah um speaking of which this circular thing in front of me i know it's been a while do i need that i can't quite remember do i need that to kind of take it off or well what about these wing things oh they click I'm joking, of course. I know it's a wheel and paddles. So, yes, um, it's been a while. Um, hopefully, I'm going to have my new setup soon. I would have had it right now if it wasn't for the coronavirus. Thank you, fate. Um, so, yeah, um, it's been a long time coming, and I'm really looking forward to this. So, let's jump into it. Let's uh, take a look at the cars, and let's uh, take a look at the new location and see what they're all about. Okay then guys, so here it is, Perth and King Cross in Scotland, and as you can see it is a medium gravel surface for this one. Uh, Tree-lined gravel roads that make up these stages are a challenge for even the most experienced drivers. Competitors need to be aware of the sur of, of surface rutting and potholes appearing on the stage over the course of an event, as well as other hazards located close to the edges, such as, I don't know, um, angry farmers throwing fried Mars bars at you and possibly sheep as well. There's lots of sheep everywhere, uh, especially in the countryside, so I'm assuming that'll be a hazard. So yeah, this is the new location. Let's take a look at some of the stages, though. So, the first stage we have, South Morningside, 7.82 miles for this one, 440 feet near us, makes no difference in terms of elevation change. Uh, then we've got the same um, same circuit, or same track stage going in reverse, slightly longer, 7.87 miles. Uh, then we've got Old Butterstone Muir, 3.62 miles, only 82 feet of elevation change. Looks like a relatively quick stage, but there are some tricky sections in there as well from the looks of it. Uh, 82 feet of elevation change for that one. Uh, then we've got a uh, Rosebank Farm, 4.45 miles, 580 feet of elevation change. Uh, the same one, again, going the other way. Uh, a little bit shorter going in the other direction. No, quite a bit shorter, actually. About what, 0.1 of a mile, a little bit more. So there we go. Uh, and it also has less elevation change. 564 feet. Old Butterstone Muir Reverse, we know all about that one. New House Bridge, 7.99 miles, 918 feet of elevation change. This is a big stage for you guys. And again, it's on medium gravel throughout. And the same one um, again, which is a little bit longer actually, 8.7 miles and 935 feet of elevation change. So that's a big stage. Uh, Glen Castle Farm, 3.26 miles, 141 feet of elevation change. Uh, and Bank Station, uh, 4.83 miles, 800 feet. It's a lot of undulation with these in terms of elevation changes and so on and so forth. You're going to have some big hills and big drops in this, I imagine. Uh, 4.71 miles for the reverse, so a little bit shorter. And then we've got uh, Glen Castle Farm reverse, 3.26 miles. So, yeah. Um, so we've got a number of stages that we can try out. Uh, we'll try Glen Castle Farm reverse first, I guess. I'll do this one. Uh, but before we do jump into any sort of driving, let's take a look at the two brand new cars. So here is the first of the two brand new cars. And this is one personally I've really, really been looking forward to. The Subaru Legacy RS. Uh, stats wise, 300 brake horsepower, 2,500 pounds in terms of weight. Uh, engine is a two liter, four cylinder turbocharged uh, lump with a six speed manual sequential gearbox bolted to it as well. Um, in terms of, because we know the Subaru Impressor replaced the Legacy, let's just have a look. The Impress has more power, but it weighs about 200 pounds more. That's quite a lot. I don't think 20 horsepower is going to cover that, to be honest with you, but there we go. Uh, the reasons that they dropped the Legacy and went with the Impress is because of the shorter wheelbase. They felt it would be a bit more advantageous, and so on and so forth. Uh, but there we go. So, 
In terms of the info, uh, produced by, uh, sorry, developed by ProDrive, the Subaru Legacy RS featured a 2 litre turbocharged boxer engine producing 290 brake horsepower. Don't know where that extra 10 came from. Uh, Colin McRae and Derek Ringer won the uh, British Rally Championship in this car, with the likes of Richard Burns and Mark Allan also achieving success in multiple championships during this period. And of course, this is the 1992 version. Uh, in terms of liveries, oh, God, I didn't want that. In terms of liveries, uh, we've already got five for this form. We've got the black and the white, and then we've got an orange one and that one there. So there we go. But I like the uh, I like the original one. So let's take a look at the other brand new car, and this is one I think a lot of you have been wanting and looking forward to. It is the Subaru Pressa S4. Let's take a look and find it. And here it is then, guys. The Subaru Impreza S4 Rally is probably the one most people have been wanting to get their hands on. Uh, it falls into the four-wheel drive up to 2,000cc category, this car. Um, in terms of the stats, it's quite comparable to the Legacy and the Impreza as well. Um, so 300 brake horsepower, 2,700 pounds in terms of weight, 2-litre four-cylinder turbocharged engine with a six-speed manual gearbox. Um, now, in terms of the info, this is the 1998 version. So, uh, the Super Impressor is one of the most recognisable rally cars uh, in rallying, and during its tenure in top flight rallying, it excelled in all conditions and was highly successful. Both Colin and Alistair McRae, in, sorry, driven by both Colin and Alistair McRae in 1998, the Super Impressor took three rally wins on the international stage. There we go. So, yes, nice info there. Uh, in terms of liveries, uh, oh God, ooh, that's horrible. Ugh. Uh, we've got that one, and then we've got the, the black and the white. So not a whole lot of liveries. Hopefully they'll add to it. Now, we do know that this is going to be the final piece of major DLC for that Rally, but I imagine that will sort of drip feed over the course of maybe the year, um, some liveries and so on and so forth. So hopefully there'll be more. And if you're on PC as well, I imagine there'll be a bunch of liveries for this particular car uh, that'll go up there that you can download and use. But if you're on console, then you can just enjoy this beautiful blue one uh, that I think most of us uh, just... Absolutely, love. I love this colour. I really do. It's one of my favourite colours. So there we go. So what we're going to do now, though, is we're going to do a little bit of driving. So I'm going to go and jump into the Legacy because that's the one I want to drive first. And we'll come back to this in a little while. So, yeah, we're going to take the Legacy for a run around Scotland and we're going to see what it's like. So I'm going to get that all set up and I'll be back in a moment. Oh, killing guys. So here we are at the Glencastle Farm Reverse and we're in the Subaru Legacy for this one and it's uh, roughly about three miles or so for this one, 3.26 miles. So uh, it's a relatively short stage. In terms of um, times, three out of five is the time to beat. There's not a whole lot of times on there at, at the minute, admit, uh, admittedly, but we're going to give it a good go and we're going to see what we can muster. Um, given I've got barely any force feedback uh, or none at all, then I don't think we're going to get any sort of... <laughs> we're not going to get anywhere sort of, you know, impressive on the uh, on the leaderboards. But we're going to give it a good go and we're going to see what we can do. So let's jump into it and um, let's see what the legacy is all about. Oh, Keating guys. So here we are just about ready to get things kicked off. And honestly, I cannot tell you how much I've missed this view. Just sitting here ready to get a stage kicked off. Phil beside me reading a list of, you know, how much toilet paper he's got stored up in his house owing to the coronavirus. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've missed this. So, yeah, uh, apologies if what you're about to see is terrible. Like I said, I've got no force feedback on my wheel at the moment and I haven't done any driving in the last three months. But I'm going to have some fun with it. We're going to see what this Subaru Legacy is like because I've been just gagging to get my hands on this. Just, I'm so happy and I love the noise already. Listen to that rumble. God, I love boxer engines. They're so good. Right then, let's get things started and uh, let's see what we can muster in the Subaru, uh, Subaru Legacy. And away we go. Slowing 72, the early short square right. Opens long, tight six of a crest. 80, three left, tightens of a crest. Oh, I've missed this. Right. Oh, it's so much better if I had force feedback. Bit of a meal of that, but... And five left, into six right, opens very long, caution tightens three, and four left long, opens five, forty, 
three right. 15, slow, three right tightens, two give in, and two left, very long, Don cut drops inside, and two right to the crest, into three left, 40, five right, and very long, and tightens of the crest, a sudden, four left, and slow shot, three right, 30, caution open in left, Don cut drops inside, 52 in square right, into four left, opens 30, Three left long, don't cut, ditch outside, into shot, four right, four left, into four right, tightens three, into three left long of a crest, 30, four right, very long, tightens three, don't cut, dropped inside, into six left, open to a crest, 60 of a dip, keep middle of a crest, a sudden five right, don't cut, into six left of a bump, 60, keep left of a jump, into five right, tightens of a bump, six left, very long, caution, tightens four of a crest, into five right, 40, keep with of a crest, 40, three right, don't cut, 80, four right, tightens of a dip, and open to 80, caution, two left of a crest, 50, four right, tightens of a crest, don't cut, 40, one left, very long, don't cut, drops inside, into five right, extra long, tightens, to keep right of a 80, three left, and five right long, 40, four left, open to a pump, into four right of a crest long, 100 of a bumps, four right, very long, 80, six right long, into flat left, and six right of a crest long, tightens five, 40, five left long of a crest, opens tightens four long, don't cut, 100 of a bumps, five right of a bump, 130 downhill, caution slow, four right long, tightens, to turn, square left, don't cut. Opens, three long, 40, four right tightens, stitch outside, to three left, extra long, caution tightens, and two right, extra long tightens. And two left, into shot, two right. And four left long, tightens three, extra long. Oh god, there's logs and rocks and... Six right, extra trenches. God knows what else. Tightens four right to stop. Oh, a three twenty one. Considering we had no force feedback and I've done no driving in the last three months and I haven't got any setup on this car and I made a mistake. <laughs> a lot of excuses there, you know. Race driver excuses, it's the way to forward. That's not a bad time, 321. I was expecting something a lot worse considering um split times you can do your own comparisons there pretty good i'd say that was okay um let's see where we put us on the leaderboard though let's have a little looky low top 10 i'll take that top 10 uh, that's st <laughs> we're still quite a way off the top time but yeah consider like i said no driving in the last three months, no setup, and no force feedback that's a respectable time if i had all those things i reckon i could go very very close to that time but yeah that was a lot of fun i really enjoyed this car love the noise it's amazing i love the noise the one thing that really did catch me out a couple of times was just it just feels so much longer than anything else that i've driven and you can really feel that you really do have to be careful normally when you just come up to these corners where you know like a three right and you've got something on the outside of the corner and you know it's there and you think oh, i've got room with this you do hesitate a little bit because you just know how long it is and you might just nick something or clip it and that'll pretty much end the run but yeah really fun car to drive um really well balanced as well as much as i could feel anyway because i've got no force feedback but even with that i didn't feel like it was overly um overly tough to drive uh, it was a very tricky stage there was just these trenches on either side of the road at times uh there'd be you know lots of tricky corners rocks everywhere but yeah really fun stage fantastic car but now we're going to switch it up we're going to go do it and try another stage and this time we're going to do it in the s4 Okay then guys, we're back and as you can see we are in the brand new Subaru Impreza S4 Rally, the car I think a lot of you have been clamouring and wanting to see. And for this one we're going to Old Butterstone Muir, which is a 3.62 mile uh, stage. Uh, before we jump into it though, let's take a look at the leaderboards. Uh, the top time is a 256.676 by 2 Technical. I think that might be GTR Technical. 
I think that's who that is, potentially. Um, does some really good setups. Go check him out on YouTube. Uh, some really good setups for lots of different types of car. I uh, highly suggest you go look, at it, uh, look him up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if we, again, go 15 seconds off the top time, then we could potentially get a top 10. But overall, um, overall, I'm just looking to have fun and see what the uh, see what this one's like. So I'm going to get it all set up and ready to go, and I'll see you when we're ready to get the run underway. Okay then, guys. So here we are, just about ready to get things kicked off. And uh, yeah, this is the one we've been waiting for, the S4 Impreza. This is going to be a lot of fun. I've got a feeling it's going to be absolutely awesome. So uh, yeah, uh, Phil's ready. Phil's here. So he's like, yeah, hurry up, you twat, I've got stuff to do. Uh, I've got to go out and buy toilet roll, hurry up. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get things kicked off and uh, see what the S4's like. Five, four, three, two, one, go. And away we go. Christ, look at the drop out there. That'll ruin you down a hurry. Tricky section. This whole stage is terrifying. It's purely because of the drops you see. Oh, get away from the edge. God, sorry, oh yeah. I just completely lost the feel of the car there. Tricky section. Short right, left. Into short, six right, flat left, sixteen. Four left, long tightens. Into four right, very long caution tightens. Into short, three left, keep in. To keep middle of a bump. Into six right, into short, three left. Thirty five right. Caution seventy, keep right of a bump jump. Into three left of a bump dip. Sixty fast and three right. Opens long. Ninety. Come on, come back. <laughs> Crest into three right, extra, extra long. Into three left of a small crest, opens extra long. 170, six right of a crest, 70, six left of a small crest, opens long, tightens short, four left of long to meet. 50, slowing, four right tightens, opens 60, turn, one right to cut, rocks inside, 100. Oh, come on, baby. Three right, Titans pass junction. Sixty. Six left long, and caution, Titans too long. Opens. Keep middle of a small crest. Sixty over finish, right left of a crest, and right right opens to stop. Oh, well, that was 335 terrible. Uh, <laughs> That was terrifying. That stage is terrifying. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, a lot of fun. The car felt really good um, from what I could feel anyway, the limited amount I could feel. Uh, but yeah, uh, 
really scary stage that one <laughs> and in this car which i know it can go so fast that it can just get away from you so so easily uh but yeah 335 not a great time admittedly but considering my obvious limitations in terms of equipment and possibly talent and uh you know iq <laughs> i think that's okay considering so uh yeah leaderboard probably puts us down in like the what the 50s or something i don't know 81, oh well, that's terrible, 38 seconds off. So I've got a lot of work to beat GTR Technical, but I'm going to beat him. Possibly with a, a phone book, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so uh, there we go, guys. Um, really, really fun stage, if you can just ignore the fact. I mean, look at the drop that you can see on the side there, and they're everywhere. It's just all over the place. You've got to be so, so cautious and on the button. And because it's so narrow as well... There's no real room for ever it. It's just, uh, yeah, a really tricky stage. It's a very, very fun car to drive as well. Um, do I like it more than the Legacy? Mm, I'd, I'd they're about on par. I was really looking forward to the Legacy. Admittedly, the Legacy I was looking forward to a little bit more than this, but this was a lot of fun as well. So, yeah. Um, like I said, guys, it's uh, available now, this DLC. If you've got the deluxe edition of the game or you bought one of the uh, the season passes, either 1 and 2 or 3 and 4 or the, the big pass, whatever, it's free. And even if you haven't got any of, the, any of those, you can go and buy this DLC pack on your respective um, either Steam or PlayStation Store or Microsoft Store or whatever. Yeah. So there we go, guys. That's pretty much the end of the video. Oh, actually, we do have to have a look at the scenarios, but I think I might do that in another video, actually. Uh, the scenarios, uh, there's a lot of them. There's 40 of them. I'm not going to do any of them. But uh, yeah, I may take a look at those in another video. I'll do a little bit later down the line. But uh, yeah, there we go, guys. So uh, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you would like to see more, uh, then make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, admittedly, content is going to be a little bit limited for a little while longer. But like I said, I've got the money for my new setup. Just waiting for things to come into stock so I can buy them and put them together. And then we'll be back in business proper. So drop a subscribe anyway, because we're very, very close to 2,000 thousand subscribers uh also check me out on twitter facebook instagram all the links are down there in the description and let me know what you think about this dlc guys which car are you preferring do you prefer the legacy do you prefer the uh, the impressor s4 let me know uh, what's your favorite stage from scotland is it this one hopefully not because it'll mean you're a stock raven lunatic but either way guys uh thank you everybody so much for watching again stay cool and as always i will catch you in the next video peace oh and wash your hands you filthy heathens <laughs>